Take a look at what happens when forces are unbalanced. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Balanced and Unbalanced Forces. Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. But how are balanced and unbalanced forces different? Balanced forces will cause no change in the speed of an object. Balanced forces acting on an object in opposite directions and in equal strength, as shown in the arrows below, do not cause a change in the speed of a moving object. Objects that are not moving will not start moving if acted on by balanced forces. Remember, forces have a magnitude and a direction. Unbalanced forces are not equal, and they cause the motion of an object to change. When two unbalanced forces are exerted in opposite directions, their combined force is equal to the difference between the two forces. The magnitude and direction of the net force affects the resulting motion. This combined force is exerted in the direction of the larger force. Let's take a look at some real-world examples. The forces acting on the red pull balls are balanced. The downward force of gravity is equal to the resistance force of the pull table. When the white ball strikes the red balls, the forces are now unbalanced and they move in the direction of the force. The forces are balanced on the weights. The downward force of gravity is equal to the resistance force of the yellow rack. The weights do not move. The weight lifter exerts an unbalanced force upward and the weights move in that direction. The forces on the tennis balls are equal. They are not moving. When the tennis balls are struck by an unbalanced force, it causes them to move. The resistance force of the car is balanced with the downward force of gravity. The car jack exerts an unbalanced force on the car upward, and the car moves in that direction. The car is at rest, and all forces are balanced. When the car that is moving strikes the car at rest, then the forces now are unbalanced, and the car moves in the direction of this force. If you'd like to know more about unbalanced or imbalanced forces, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.